On this episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, we raised some money. And Amos got prickle ricked. Yeah, I also I was also at, at CES kinda this week. Interesting. I was thinking a lot about the Mandalorian. And as you heard in the opening opening, we've got Tay Allen. Oh Tay, what do you have to say for yourself? I brought a vortex rock with an energy spiral in it. That's all you need to know. Yep. <laughs> Ass beat. I like it. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 238 for Thursday, the 9th of January, 2020. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent. The music is brought to you by Kevin McLeod because he's fucking awesome. And we have our own musical guest tonight because apparently she's feeling musical. Tay Allen plus fire! Oh! <laughs> hey, <Sonsonga. laughs> Hey, take back your contacts, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh! She put the fire out. Like she now she's safe. She I have can, more fire. Don't and worry. Now she can mark herself safe on Facebook. Safe from today's <laughs> fire. I'll bring back fire later in the episode when you least expect. Uh, now I'm just gonna always expect it. So I don't know what's <laughs> going to happen right now. Kent, how was your week, dude? Mine was very, very busy. Uh, lots of work. Although I'm not going to complain about work. It's the other work stuff that. And, and, so how was your week? <laughs> um, I was also busy with with work. Um, the last time we did a regular episode of the show was before the streamathon. Uh, so I've been thinking a lot about the streamathon. Uh, over this last week, we raised two thousand seven hundred seventy-seven dollars and twenty cents. For the Children's Miracle Network yep. over the course of 27 hours. It was so much Yay! fun. Yep. It was so rewarding to to be able to bring uh, such a good-sized donation to the children. Um, it was great, man. Um, I, I want to bring, bring in the point that two years ago, we raised $2,072. No, two, yeah, $2,077. Mm, okay. Last year, we raised $2,000. $27. So it dropped by 50 bucks and we were like, oh shit. This mm -hmm. year we brought $2,777. So two of those numbers, the first number and the last number have remained the same each of the last three years, the two and the seven. I haven't looked at my tarot in a while, but I'm sure that means something. <laughs> Tay's freaking out. I, I think am she's... not joking. I am not joking. Seven is my magic number. Every time I see the number 77, it means I'm aligned. And my horoscope said today, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. My path seems to be wandering and not make any sense that I'm supposed to be where I am right now. And you just said 77. This is amazing. Thank you, universe. <laughs> oh. In cribbage, uh, 27772 is worth like a lot of points. I mean, it's not like... It's not a 29, <laughs> uh, but let's see, trips trips for six, a uh, pair for two more, so that's eight. Uh, I got a nine, and that's, that's about all you can do with it. So about eight points. So that's not bad. All right. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to send me something like that. This is so magical. I am meant to be here. I love you guys. Hey, what is it with your computer? You just like you just went all crunchy and, and stuff, like right like everything was fine until we went live and then your 77 came in and everything just went. Oh no. Did you push something? Uh, it can't be me. It the, can't. Only, the only thing it I can't. do on this show is push Ken's buttons. I think, <laughs> I think Tay might've set her router on fire or something. Oh, is this the fire oh. you were referring to earlier? Is, is uh, you were just going to set fire to your internet? I'm just, y'all, I always set fire to the internet. Let's be honest, okay? I just X out a Google Chrome for you guys, so maybe it'll clear some things up. Is it better? It, it, is, it is not. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Okay, first of all, I just want to say that uh, uh, any, any first-rate podcast would cut it right now and say, no, we're going to start this whole thing over again. We are not a first-rate podcast. A second-rate podcast would be like, well, let's fix it. We're, we're not one of those either. We're, we are a third-rate podcast, so we're, we're going we're gonna to just work around it until your, your, your signal comes back. Yeah, I think okay, it's... Okay, can uh, you hear me at least? 
Is it just the video? Uh, your audio is a little crunchy too. What I can do is drop the video and see if the audio comes in clear because then we know it's a signal issue. And maybe you can call us back, but that'd be that'd be that that'd be fixing it, and that's the second rate podcast issue. And I don't know. No, y'all, I'm down to be I'm down oh, to be crunchy because uh, it'll have the fart sounds. Now, now. you now your audio is fine, and your video is still a little squirrely. So maybe we're coming back to to normalcy here. Yeah, so I, I think we're good. I, I think did we're good. fart, and so maybe it changed the equilibrium in the room. <laughs> If you missed the pre-show, Tay's feeling a little farty tonight. So yeah, I'm being really open about it because I think we all should be more open with the fact that we all fart, and girls should be able to fart and not feel ashamed. That's honestly something I've been working on like the last two months is like farting around my boyfriend and it being okay with that. So I'm really gassy tonight, and I'm gonna be farting constantly. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. You heard it here. Tay Allen. Some of you thought Tay Allen was a bit of an airhead because she's a little awkward and crazy. No, no, she, she's more. She's more of a more of a blowhard. <laughs> I'm a revolutionary fighting for women's fighting rights. Thank you very much. Love toot and enjoy it. <laughs> um, Amos, tell us about this uh, prickle Rick. Uh, you got prickle, prickle ricked. Uh, I got prickle ricked. Um, so my wife had her computer on the dining room table. I was going to be a smart ass and she was, she brought her little 20, 22 inch monitor downstairs. Um, mm -hmm. I said, no, I'll bring my 27 inch that I'm not using anymore and throw that on here. So you can take your 22 back upstairs to your desk and we can have the 27 down here. We plugged it in and all of a sudden, uh, her screen was mirroring and it would not go to extending mode on her Windows laptop. I couldn't figure it out. I sat there and scratched my head and tried to argue with it for about 10 minutes. Couldn't figure it out. My wife came over, bleep, blop, bloop, magic happened, and it was uh, extended. So my wife showed me up on a technological thing that is not supposed to happen, but sure as hell did. Well, I mean, she's an honor in the Air Force. I mean, that's that's kind of what they do, right? Like make computers do what they're supposed to. Um, so many things I would like to, but I can't respond to on that. <laughs> Trying to get girls Amos smart here. and we're smart. Um, <laughs> and Tay, oh, no, smart. She said, oh my god! I just got a thing saying, "Kill your video." Okay, thanks, guys. You're not my Reddit comments. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Really? I, I was just trying. I was. I was just trying to to minimize the uh, the the bandwidth usage, so you came in nice and clear. Because I think people would rather hear you than to be jumbled. Okay, I just kill your video is like a PTSD for me. You know how many times I've heard that exact phrase over the last five years? Man, I I I am sorry that I was not. Um, <laughs> Uh, the correct uh, my dear lady, would you trip. please turn off your video camera? I'd love to hear your angelic voice. <laughs> that's yes, that's what he meant. And the worst part, <laughs> the worst part is now it's coming in clear. Of course it is. That's what you get. The Tay gods have shown down on you to smite you for telling me to kill my video. Reddit, you may now go put a million more views on it to show up, Amos. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh so also last time we talked we discussed um uh our thoughts about the latest star wars movie uh tay have you seen it uh rise of skywalker no i saw cats oh how was cats oh, oh. you i have a lot of thoughts about cats who here say in the chat realm has seen cats Let's get an answer to that while you guys talk about Star Wars, and then I will come back to Cats. I need I need an idea if anyone's ever seen the Broadway show of Cats in this nerd chat realm. Okay, okay. so if you've ever seen any iteration of Cats, whether it be the Broadway musical on Broadway, off-Broadway, touring, uh, a school version of it, uh, if you've ever seen any kind of version of the musical Cats, including the movie, let us know in the chat. And we will get to that in just a second. Kent, what are, what are, do you do? You have any new thoughts on uh, on Star Wars? Um, only for the Mandalorian because uh, yeah. Mandalorian finished since um, since we last had a regular episode of this show, and um, I had positive things to say about the Rise of Skywalker 
I am going on the record to say that the Mandalorian is better than the rise of Skywalker. I love that show. I think it's, it's absolutely awesome and it's accessible to any level of star Wars fan. But I will tell you this, if you have watched the clone wars and rebels animated series, you will be rewarded for that with the Mandalorian because it is next level. If you've seen those shows enjoyable, if you haven't, but off the charts, if you've seen them. Gotcha. Um, I haven't finished Mandalorian, so I will reprise my statements about the rise of Skywalker. And I've seen a few more people have bad comments about it. I disagree with them, although I don't necessarily disagree with their, their, uh, ideology behind it, but their end result that it's not a good movie. I disagree with. So, um, look, if you, uh, if you didn't like Rise of Skywalker, if you didn't like the latest trilogy, if you didn't like anything other than episode one, uh, come at me, bro. <laughs> Fitz Ooh. says if Rise of Skywalker had Baby Yoda, it'd be good. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker had Daisy Ridley, which makes up for my the cute factor in my eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Charles. Charles is here. I love Charles. Charles also hasn't seen it. Have you seen yeah. Cats, Charles? <laughs> or Jumanji? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I think I think we're 0 for 7 of people that reply that have seen any iteration of cats. Right. And I will have to tell everything about it and explain to the interwebs what happened in cats. Okay. So cats on Broadway, I describe as almost like a Cirque du Soleil. Like it is a really weird musical. The music is catchy, but it's all over the place. Andrew Lloyd Webber took a poem book about cats and made a show out of it and didn't care about writing a plot. It's just a bunch of cats singing really intense poetry to like 80s jams. That's the musical. So if you've never seen that and you have no idea what that is and you go to a movie theater where you sit with like other people and are having popcorn and a Coke, and that comes onto the screen, and not only is it weird, intense, super long cat poems to 80s music, but then people are CGI'd with fur on them, you're not gonna understand what's going on. So, for though I've seen cats, I actually have the cats poster on my wall. There it is. And, because it's an amazing dance show, and it really is. It is like a Cirque du Soleil. It's a spectacle. Um, but, yeah, should they have made it into a movie? No. <laughs> should they have cast non-Broadway people in it? No. It's super, super weird. So, I mean, I, I don't – that's cats. But it's not like they just made a super weird movie. The movie is very accurate to the Broadway play. So that's what I'll say for it. Like they they do the Broadway show very accurately and well, but like most people don't like the Broadway show. So that's my thoughts. Well, Amos, I wonder how it did in the box office. Let's check in on the movie draft. Oh, it means I gotta hit the little thing and do the thing, right? Mm-hmm. How about hit how- the thing, do the thing. Yeah, let's do that. Welcome to your Blue League Movie Draft Minute, presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of January 6, 2020. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. I once gambled my car in Vegas. The Hearts people were furious. Good times. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Snowshoes in last place with $256.2 million. Team Gelf is in fifth place with $332.9 million. Team Geek Grills is in fourth place with $341.4 million. Team RMP is in third place with four hundred ninety. million. $7 million. Team Amber Drink is in second place with $564.6 million. And in first place with $629.2 million, it's Team DKG. Watch your Stream Team Movie Draft Minute for up to date listings. Follow Stream Team Draft on Twitter. All right, Kent. Um, our goose is cooked, man. <gasps> we're not going to catch DKG. Not a chance. No, no. I don't, they, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere above third. I think we're stuck where where we're at. Um, I, mean, I, I have I have an announcement. It has to yeah. do with things like this. I think I won my fantasy football draft. 
Nice. Oh, nice. High five. I was one This is my first time playing. I'm just amazing at games because I, too, am a nerd. That's why we're all friends. And it was a bunch of guys and me and, like, one other chick, and I won. And they all have been friends and played many years. And I came in, and I didn't even know how to make the name on the app. So I made my name as Winner, and I won. (laughs) (laughs) That's freaking awesome. I lost my draft. I will post it to Twitter. I was very, very proud. I lost my draft by a point in the championship game. You are not me. You did not win. <laughs> no, I, uh, um, you didn't. You won. That's a, that's incredible. <laughs> not even knowing what you're doing. That's awesome. I just followed my instincts every week. To me, the players I should switch out would kind of twinkle. They would have like a shimmer about them. And I'd be like, oh, I must change them out. And I won. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Uh, I'm not going to argue the validity of those statements. I'm posting my winning picture onto Twitter for anyone who cares. And my Twitter is Vtay Allen. Um, If you like it, I'm very proud of it. Kent, if people would like to help us out and give us uh, insider tips on future movie drafts or uh, just rag on you for not having a team or rag on me, (laughs) try to accuse me of being a bandwagoner for liking the 49ers since like the 80s. Uh, where could they go to have a more direct line to 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 us? Yeah, so I was going to say you could hit us up on Twitter or send us an email. But if you want priority access mm. to to uh, to talk to this smack- third rate us. podcast, <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, Crunchy help and us become a second rate podcast by going over to patreon.com slash ritual misery. Every little bit helps. It's going to take us to austin in a couple of months yep uh, thanks to the patrons providing that that uh flow now um, now we also, used to say give us a buck a week and we'll make you smile <laughs> oh gosh that's Did the worst now <laughs> now it's now it's a buck a month like we've we've decreased our rates in hopes of gathering more patrons yes um, yeah, check it out. There's all kinds of extras on there. You can get this entire post or pre-show where Tay talks about farts. Uh, you can get the post-show <laughs> that who knows what craziness is going to happen there. Um, lots of exclusive interviews, all sorts of cool stuff over there. Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. Uh, Hi, Elizabeth. Kent, it's about this time, isn't it? Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, Kent's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very... Excited. Kids, games. Play with them. Play with them. Play with them. Was I that my voice? Did no. I say that? <laughs> I mean, you might have. I don't. I don't. It, it's it's very <laughs> quiet on the stream. It's uh-huh. quiet in my head too. I don't. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, I, I can't figure it out because I'm sharing screen and that locks my screen to not be able to bring up so the score. The game this week is called Awkward Descriptions. Oh, yes. <laughs> so good i can already tell i can already tell so i found some pictures that i want to show to take and she's going to describe the pictures for the audio listeners the the, uh amos are the the video viewers (laughs) on uh twitch.tv slash ritual misery and youtube.com slash ritual misery i think um are they going to be able to see the pictures that take us to see uh, Kent, <laughs> I I remote produced Daily Tech News Show from fucking Vegas in I'm Alaska not- for three days this week, stressing myself out about sharing pictures from the fucking internet, and you're gonna have the go. Of course, they're gonna be able to see it, dude. Right. Well, I wasn't asking if they could, if you had the ability. I was asking if you were making the choice to show them to the audience because the oh, oh, audio, I, 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 I apologize the for my previous audio listeners. <laughs> audio listeners aren't going to see the pictures, so it's up to Tay to describe them to the audience. So what we will do is I will pop them in this little uh, Google window that you see off to the side over here, Tay, and then you will describe them. And then after the description, we will uh, I'll reveal it to the viewers. And uh, then the the <laughs> listeners will be able to uh, uh, click on a link and see it in the show notes. All right. So Amos uh, and oh Amos God, has not. You made me spectacular. Amos has not seen these pictures either, I so it's going to get surprised to him. So I'm going to be <laughs> watching his reactions as much as I'm listening to 
to your description stay. All right. Great. Let's and thank you, Crunchy, for the compliment on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> crunchy. Oh, hi, Crunchy. crunchy. <laughs> I'm also holding a magic rock so that this will go very well. Oh, right. Crun- Crunchy says, uh, joke's on you. I had mine capped at a dollar a month anyways, which is what we always wanted. But now <laughs> you don't have to cap anything. You just let it go at a dollar and you're good. <laughs> Yeah. Like we're making it, yeah, we're making it simpler. We're taking a step away. All right, guys. I'm super ready for this. I'm excited. All right. Here is picture number. I'm doing them in order, right, Kent? There's not like yes, some funky yes. little do them, shit yes, you're doing here. Numerical order. <laughs> okay. For one. Here we go. All right. Cause I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing thumbnails now that I'm actually looking at the folder ready to pop them over, but I haven't actually looked at them yet. So here we go. Okay. Here's picture number one. <laughs> it's like a a sausage fest for your eyes. It's one of those things where you kind of want to know what's happening, but you kind of don't. It's intriguing, and you want to be like, hey, can I come over for dinner? But also like, oh, God, don't use me for dinner. I really like their taste in um, towels. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Is that and a towel or is that, that bacon? <laughs> get- the eye of the holder, Amos. And... Um, I, I think what I can really bring home on this is, you know, who let the dogs out? Obviously no one, because this dog killed his owner and now is having vengeful glory. Wow. I, that is a, I think that's an excellent theory on the, on what's happening in this picture. Um, <laughs> we'll bring this over to the audience here in a minute. We'll see what, what chat realm has. I'm, I'm 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 trying to bring it over. Uh, 4K monitors kind of screw up a 720 broadcast on a. Uh, you, you gotta you gotta give me a second here. You gotta, you gotta finesse it. Yeah. Um. Mm. So it's like he's finessing that sausage. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now here is the big reveal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so there we go. Um. I'm surprised you didn't say anything about the teeth. Uh, I saw the teeth, but I did not deem it worthy of a taste scription because I thought it was shoddily done. A poor Photoshop, not the red camera quality of mass text. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, if, if you didn't care for that one, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see about, let's see about uh, picture number two. Uh, I got I to retransition here. Okay, there we go. Hey, I'm producing here. <laughs> All right, picture number two. Now uh, I will let everybody know that I I do have the folder open uh, in a in a different screen that I am sharing with Tay, so she doesn't even get to see the thumbnails until the the whole mm-hmm. picture shows up. So it's true. Oh God! <laughs> well, this was this was a magical day. This was the, the day where a woman truly found herself. I see a shining goddess dressed in white, surrounded by the most mystical animals you have ever seen it this is like the witcher almost it is a group of fairies goblins mythical creatures and a charming handsome young prince who's ridden in to save the day i I like that description quite a bit amos um (laughs) let's uh let's reveal this one to the to the chat room. Oh, oh, hold, hold on, Ken. They couldn't hear you because I don't have my NDI set up properly, so I'm trying to readjust. So, so you need to stall and egg her on a little bit and cover for me. Ah, uh, I can, I can cover. Jerk. I can do more. So there's a sprightliness to the way that this prince and princess are holding each other. You almost wonder, what is their relationship? Is it mother and son? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Uh, st- still working, Kent. Keep talking. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, uh, Tay, I, I'm curious. Do you know, that, so the person that you're standing next to, do you know what they're wearing? Um, but let's say Underneath the bottom. The the, armor? Yeah, what is, what is the, in the bottom half of uh, this gentleman's person? Would I be right in saying a Nordic kilt? Ah, you, oh. you, you, you would actually. Someone has a good memory after all that peroxide, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who I'd said... like to give a shout out too to that redhead record producer in the back. 
<laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's give the folks a, a taste of what we're, what she's seeing here. Hopefully, people can hear you now, Kent. So that's all right. So um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the NDI is. Yes, is, yes. It, it, uh, all uh, indications are go. So uh, the gentleman in the picture with Tay is our chat realm's very own B. Coford. Woo! And yes, he was indeed wearing a kilt in that picture. Even though the picture that's doesn't show the kilt, which is a shame in and of itself. Yep, yep. Um, uh, is that Garrett Weinzerl in in the in the background there over uh, BK's right shoulder? It I I... it might be. Uh, the people can't see it though because uh, they're not seeing the whole picture. So let me let me do some adjustment. I'm not. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna take this and slide. There are surprisingly this. normal looking go. women over his shoulder as well who don't seem like they go. should be in a chat realm ball room. <laughs> but, you know don't where, they just look like moms kind they, of <laughs> they, they kind of do maybe maybe like aunt sally's yes and i don't want to discourage anyone from being part of our group this is not me they just look too nice honestly they look well put together <laughs> their outfits match and it's, they have nice earrings it's and not that I don't they, understand. it's not that they don't belong it's that we don't know how to accept them <laughs> <laughs> dragon con is this a dragon con i think it is it was a dragon con yes yeah oh righty the most likely to be infamous sash that i won my senior year of college if only they knew what was to come uh, they i mean that they did I, I i i like before we click off this picture did you ever have a nip slip in that shirt <laughs> Only those who attended will know. Oh. Talk about an after show. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm dying to see what is the chat realm saying. These are so funny. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, um, uh, this is when Tay had blonde hair. LOL. <laughs> oh, yes. <gasps> This Tay doesn't look like that Tay in the picture. Oh, interesting. Fit, Fit says, uh, chat, chat realm has plenty of focos of all shapes and sizes. And yes. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. <laughs> uh, picture number three. And I, I, I can't even tell what the hell this is by the thumbnail. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I've been shocked so far. I was not expecting me and him at Dragon Con. That was brilliant. All right. Here you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I can't. Oh. All right. The description of this is there's a time in every woman's life when she feels a sense of danger, but also likes to be in control. This time comes at the ripe age of six to 40 ish. <laughs> um, there is a mystical plant and fruit that is tempting these women who are discovering themselves like they want to try it, but they just can't. Their mother is shamed by their existence and is off in a hallway drinking herself into oblivion. It also looks like they may be on a boat and that they may be in the captain's quarters getting a little naughty. And that this mother is uh, outside of their ship window. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we just need... I want to know what chat realm <laughs> thinks is going on in this picture. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I have to comment on this. I think you do. <laughs> um, there is so very much about this picture that... I love. <laughs> yeah, this is a very dude picture. I don't know if I can give a taste description of this. I think this is a <laughs> most description. <laughs> uh, Amos I, is not going to be able to talk for the rest of yeah, the episode. He, he, Just letting he, he, everyone know. So, so, so here's the thing. There's a couple of, there's, there's like three chicks. There's, a, there's an old chick in a mirror that looks like a porkless or, or a porthole rather. Um, there's a middle-aged chick and then there's a young chick and the young chick is holding an apple with a squid on it or octopus rather. And the middle-aged chick is wearing like a corset thing and 
she's blindfolding the young one with like a, what looks like a black tie and there's some champagne some there's there's like different emotions on each of the women they all look like the same woman at different stages of life <laughs> that's there's, very true that's beautiful amos i i don't uh, uh, i i think i've said this before so i'm not going to be too too sad about saying it but i'm i'm not necessarily into blondes but the youngest woman here just the way she's got her like her hand it, it's just it, it's pretty hot it's pretty hot this is such a porny picture <laughs> i would like to point out the thing that i like the most about this picture is the lobster in the lower left hand corner Oh, I didn't even see the lobster. I know. You were looking at the girl. No, I saw the little angel looking, like right, the statue see. thing down there, but I didn't. Uh, Show chat room. Show chat, chat room. Chat room is wondering if we're going to break terms of service by showing this. And I yeah. I <laughs> honestly don't know. I don't think so, but fuck it. It's it's just Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I chose this picture just because of how much is going on in this picture. Yes. There, you can tell a thousand stories. Uh, they, you you are right. There is a lot going on in this picture. The mother in the hallway is very intriguing. It's like a desperate housewives subplot waiting to happen. That is a convex mirror in <laughs> in a circular frame that looks like a, a porthole. Like like the, there's oh my oh my god this is this is some crazy. And what is going on be be behind? Is that like is, is that like medical equipment back there? That's Right. I, oh, there's. Oh, dude, dude, this is a find, Kent. This is a I fucking find. I think that. I think I saw that plant in an issue of High Times. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's that's the streamers from what looks like a balloon. I don't. Oh. So much. Like I could. I could find. This looks like one of those puzzles that you when you're drunk in the bar and they're trying to get you to see the fifteen differences. <laughs> That looks like what we this picture is. We all know Amos is going to spend all evening looking at this picture, trying oh, to find everything. No, I I have on. a hot <laughs> wife upstairs ready to be pissed off at me for any number of things tonight. There's no way I'm going to spend the rest of my life looking at this picture. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's let's spend some time looking at picture number four. Okay, let yes. me uh, let me. Thank click. you for keeping us on track, Kent. What did <laughs> Chat Realm think of that photo? Uh, it's a gross piece of fruit she's holding. One thing we know, alcohol was involved. And why is there a squid on the apple, though? <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, squid the blonde the is hot, was... but I don't think that's the mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the squid on the apple was that's that's really what did it for me. I, I, uh, I'm going to I'm going to agree with W. Scott S. One on this on his uh, first remark after I showed it. Uh... Yeah. Basically, <laughs> that was the remark. <laughs> All right, picture four. Okay, picture four. I remember this one, so maybe Ooh, I okay. think I do. Uh, maybe not. Yep, are you? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, if you've ever seen two elves just frolicking and having a grand time under a rainbow, that's what this looks like. There's some grumpy ogre and glasses in the back, though. I don't know who that evil man is. Where did he come from? The bottom of a bridge? This uh, Minky and Fiddlesticks, two glorious elves, went out one day to find out if they were true trolls. Did they have gels that lit up on their stomachs? Only a bar on 6th Street can tell. Um, it, it looks like the two elves' bellies would click together like Legos. <laughs> it does it. Also, I think the one elf in the red looks great in that picture. <laughs> She's very <laughs> proud of her stomach there. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, no, no kid. I, I mean, I don't think the other elf is any less proud of his stomach. And he yeah. is gorgeous. Steals so. the show. Um, let's see what let's see what chat realm has to say. <laughs> so this one uh, this one took place in Austin at South by Southwest. That 20... grumpy grumpy ogre with the glasses in the corner. Mm. I we think need this to get is... rid of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brian Brushwood in the uh, in the <laughs> background there. Um, I I think this was 2018. Amos, what say you? I think Brian Brushwood sounds like an ogre name. <laughs> it does. It does. That's so funny. 
Yeah. Um, I think chat room will only be sad that uh, the two people, the two elves pulling up their shirts didn't go a little further. Well, <laughs> the, the uh, what masculine part of the Lego? Was that what it's called? Like a feminine plug? Wait, do you know what, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. The female end? Or what, the male ma- end? Ma- like a battery? The, male the and female. The receptacle. Everyone wanted the gray shirt higher. That's what I'll say. That's oh, what I'll say. Uh, I mean, I think they just wanted both. Uh, hmm. I, I'm I'm in a couple of the frog pants uh, uh, blue uh, uh, chats, and they want both of them higher. I'm just. Yeah, hmm. that's yeah, that's valid. Frog, <laughs> I put frog uh, pants in my Diamond Club song I made. Yeah, they should know that. Yes. Yep. 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 Okay, um, let's kill that one, and oh, I shouldn't say that. That's let's, another uh, thing that I let's could put Let's switch from that video. A show the Diamond Club song. <gasps> Diamond Club's a girl's best friend. That that that's a good one. I think we played. Yes. Did we play that video when when you were on the show? I think so. I think I feel so. Like yeah, we did. We did. We, I think. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't know that. Shut oh. up! You're supposed to be in standby mode. What is wrong with you? Well, I don't know you either, and it's okay. Maybe one day we'll meet. Alexa, go live. Oh, wow. Uh, and also, shut up. You she, wonder... didn't, she didn't do all the things. She was, she was supposed to go into standby mode when I tell her to go live, whatever. Uh, Alexa's a hooker. Um, <laughs> P- Lego uh... belly, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready for what? What is it? Picture five. Five. Picture five. Oh wait, yeah, wait, wait. We should say it like again uh, for picking a great game. We should, we should, <laughs> we should, uh, we should go with uh, the Jack Attack version. Picture number five. <laughs> five. Five. Ah! Taters! 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 The most delicious food and fan group in the world. I love you. I want to eat all of you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think we need to wait for anything else. Do we? We can just show that. That's... Just show this one. Yeah, this yeah. one's this one's pretty pretty. Blade. I just wanted to see how excited Tay would get when she sees her tater tots. <laughs> I love them. I'm gonna cry. Oh my lordy! I'm crying. I'm crying. Amazing. I love you, Ken. That's so cute. Wow. I'm gonna make that my screen background. <laughs> I, I did a Google image search for tater tots. That's how I found it. Amazing. <laughs> it's like the third picture in the in the search. Um, okay, so we have one final. Uh, wait, wait. You can't you can't have a sh- uh, Hey Napoleon, give me your tots. No, get your own. Give me some of your tots. No. I have I didn't... some. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had anything to eat all day. <laughs> Oh, oh! <laughs> you ruined my tots. Holy <laughs> and dynamite, so great! <laughs> oh, it's such a good movie. <sighs> it's one of the few movies that's genuinely not as good as it should be until you've seen it twice. Dude, I kind of hated that movie the first time I saw it. Yeah, but was compelled to watch it a second time immediately after. And I loved every moment of the second viewing. Yeah. I, I think, I think that's, that's kind of the design of the movie. If you've ever, if you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite, you are going to hate it the first time. And then yes, every what? subsequent viewing, it gets better <laughs> like a fucking wine. <laughs> so good. Oh, oh no. Someone in chat said that they're running away from me now. Come little oh. children, I'll take me away. That's just squid. Into my garden of music. He's, he, he always runs. Well, <laughs> I haven't cast my spell on him yet. He will come back. Well, if he ever, make, if he ever, makes, if he ever manages to make it out to South By, he'll, he'll see. He'll, <laughs> he'll understand. All right, final picture. Are you ready for this? Now, the chat room has noticed that every other picture has Tay in it. And I don't know if this oh. does or not, but it might. I, it seems like I, a like a picture that Tay might be in. Uh, a little bit of scenery going on. Maybe a little uh, uh, well, 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 alcohol may have been involved in this. Uh, I think the only one we'll I've see. been in is the tater tot one. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is definitely me. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, I, um, I, I thought it. I thought it might be. This is you in costume, right? Yeah, this is when I went to Cambodia 
And yeah. I decided to really get in touch with my magical roots and to do the art of waterfall spitting at chicken. Mm. It's where you go in and you get muck water that has not been filtered. And the only way to truly purify your soul is to ingest half of it and to let, oh my gosh, my closet door just creepily opened. That was super scary. I have offended the Cambodian gods. Oh my gosh, Ooh, there's a ghost in here. Okay, um, you have to ingest this muck water full of brain-eating bacteria and then ceremoniously spit it out with all the toxins inside your body. And then the chicken, which is the grandest of gods, which allows all of your inner spirits to be healed, spits it back into your mouth and you go back and forth until it's all evaporated in the air and you pass out. Amos, do you have any comment on this photo? <laughs> <laughs> this I, got... is Vegas for my favorite vacation. Because <laughs> I, I... I can tell you what I would name this picture. Actually, mm. we want to know cock spitting contest. <laughs> I, I would I would title this picture "Woman Spits on Cock." <laughs> oh. <gasps> <laughs> Amos, was show, show the picture. <laughs> <laughs> this this is the most awkward picture I've seen. I love it. What is going on here? Kent, you're a genius. <laughs> Literally, what is going on? What was I doing? Ch chat room has absolutely no idea what the hell to say about this picture. <laughs> it, it says that's hot. <laughs> Fitz's oh wife better God, watch that's out. That's He's going to so have some new funny. requests on Friday night. <laughs> oh my gosh genius uh, genius oh geez oh, this is also a contender for my screensaver on my computer <laughs> this is so i encourage the the audio podcast only uh, squid, uh, listeners squid, squid says uh and we're done <laughs> <laughs> as a show it cannot get any better <laughs> I, I encourage the audio listeners to go to youtube.com slash <laughs> and um, check this episode out. This is what what is this episode 180 something or one? What is it? 238. 238. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 238. Um, yeah. Check, check it out. Um, and you can That's... see these, these pictures and, and everyone's reactions to them. Oh my gosh. My, my face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Before it's we early. keep going. Real yeah. quick, can anyone in chat realm um, take a chunk of this video where he shows me the tater tots and I have the tater tot reaction and we talk about the tater tots? I want to put that on my Instagram. Perfect. Uh, can someone send that to me? I'm hey sure, I'm sure it can be done. Hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Amos always laughs at that. <laughs> CompuServe.com <laughs> or dot net, <laughs> dot net, right? I, I always loved Hotmail because it was HTML with just yeah, a bunch of is. vowels in the middle. HTML is the code uh, is the name of the code used to create web pages back in um, the day. It's it's hypertext markup language. <laughs> <laughs> Hotmail came out when uh, HTML 3.0 was available. Um, um, it's actually HTML the best version. Too. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. my god, that yeah. was that was a, a, a blast. That was as much fun as I expected it to be. Yeah, that oh, was... good! It was amazing, Ken. It was so fun. I think if we do a live ritual misery show and we have a um a screen again, we should do that with the audience. That would be so fun. Like have everyone line up and they get to do like a caption or something. I can just imagine, like, everybody. Oh, it'd be so funny. So many possibilities. Oh, um, yes. Returning. Well, we'll, if, we'll you, if you live in Austin and can supply a 27-inch or larger flat-screen <laughs> TV for temporary use on one evening, let us know because we may use that in our meetup that we're going to have regardless of whether or not there's a South by So Wasted. Yeah. Well, we'll make it Maybe South not by do South, South by So Wasted. Uh, there's discussions. Th th yeah, they're 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 saying there may not be a, a diamond club or a, a night attack event this South by. In which case, we will just take that fucking mantle and run with it ourselves because yes, I already bought my ticket, so fuck off. 
<laughs> oh, we will do it. Did they say why? Uh, n- n- they never do. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it, and it's not even like none of that's certain. None of that's certain. Uh, let's let's be real. If 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 Night Attack is going to do something, we're not going to know until the end of February. Yes, right. though the year I headlined it, I did not know until the day before. Right. <laughs> Right. And, I was like, yeah. where am I going, guys? I know you want me to sing. I have, have dancers and was, cookies. <laughs> was that the one at the top of the uh, the handlebar? Yes, with yeah. the um, uh, World War II backdrop. Yeah. That, that's the first South by the Kent and I uh, went to together. And the first South oh, by yep. So Wasted either one of us went to. Yep. Maybe that's why you're our favorite. Yes, of course. We um, bonded. <laughs> I finally convinced Kent to go to South by. Well, Richard it, finally convinced me a, to go back to South by. So then I told Kent he's going because I'm going. Yep, and then yep. he finally just said, okay, I'll go. And then we went there and then it was you and Justin rocking out on uh, all the songs. Neither one of you could really remember because you're both really drunk. That <laughs> is true. And that was when Brian gave me my name tags of T Tay. And that uh, was iconic. Yep. Right. Yes. Yep. No, that is, that is accurate. I might have <laughs> photographic evidence of that. <laughs> I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> Char- Charles Rubach says he's been to every one since the second one. That is amazing. Charles is amazing. He's such a, that's, I met Charles in real life through a live night attack taping. The one where I snuck in on Brian and scared the shit out of him. Mm. <laughs> um, Crunch yeah, says we met there too. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Totally. Like almost everyone that I know in Diamond Club, I met at South by. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Did did we meet Crunchy that first year? Did we? Were we cognizant of who Crunchy was? I don't. I don't think that. I think so. Yeah. I think I, it was I, the I, next year that we went and and because the next year was the one where she showed her her dick tattoo, her glow in the dark dick tattoo, and I think that's oh, where that's we. Yeah. I think that's where we really got to know Crunchy. I think the one year before we were kind of still, I don't want to say outsiders because no one's really an outsider in Diamond Club, but we were kind of fringe. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, we were not really known. At no, that point. we didn't. We didn't know people by face. We barely knew some people by mm-hmm. name because yep. I was coming from Merritt Militia, and Kent was only tagging along because I told him to at that time. <laughs> right. uh, Little did you know how much your life would change that you'd see this face every year for eternity. <laughs> Uh, not for eternity. We're we're only going to do uh, a thousand episodes. We only have uh, roughly fifteen years left of this show. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. something like that. Yeah, no, I, I've, probably more than that. I've, I've, I've I'll called, have a new name before this is finished. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've I've called the uh, ooh. I can take that a few ways. Um, I've I've called the limit at one thousand episodes of Ritual Misery. Like I, that's all I'm doing is one thousand episodes. Once we hit a thousand, I'm done. But it's taking uh, us five. I said I found you guys because I wanted a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, that's legit. And oh, and she is. also says that all of us were very drunk. Uh, Which... Yeah, I think. But I think Crunchy and I are, I think, are the only people that that tend to get thrown out of bars for being too drunk. Well, she's got you like three to one because she's oh, been kicked out of Darwin's three easily. times. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah once because yeah. they thought she was that. drinking while pregnant. Once because they thought she was. <laughs> Uh, oh over medicated once because they, they thought she was falling asleep at the bar. Uh, you got thrown out of uh, uh what, what the hell that place was? I don't even remember the name of it, but uh, I think it was mistaken identity because like there was literally Handlebar? no reason for no, no, he got, he got thrown out of the one that's two stories over by the pizza joint. Um, yeah, oh, um, but there was literally no reason for for. For he like, got he got was, thrown out because he didn't know this, that one of the bouncers asked him for his ID. When they did, he and, and then once that got cleared up, he was like, "Well, why aren't you asking for everybody else's ID?" And they're like, "It doesn't matter. We're asking for yours." And then he just stormed past because, like, fuck the bouncers, right? Like, what are they going to do? Well, he found out when they threw him out. <laughs> oh, well, that may be the case. I don't remember it that way. <laughs> yeah. Amos, can you copy and paste that um, clips that he did? In the chat room? I can. <gasps> Thank you. For okay. those of you who are watching, you don't know that I am on Skype right now. I am not in person with them, nor can I click on what you are saying. I can only watch it. Uh, so, Tate, what what of new do you have going on? I know, um, I know you've had some... Um, um, yes, oh, I'm in a musical right now i am in sweet charity here in austin and that's exciting 
I'm a Fandango dancer in mm. that. And I have a new song coming out. Ooh. A new a new Tay Allen single? A new Tay Allen song. I'm working with a producer who started as a tater. All my best people started as taters. All my friends, all my now amazing creative artist collaborations. He was a tater. He, his name is Alex Zink. He is an amazing record producer. He produced a song for Camilla Cabello, and we are working together on something. So if we had something like a South by show to premiere it at, maybe we could get our ducks in a row before then. But mm-hmm. no matter what, it's going to be amazing. And I'm really excited to be releasing something. That sounds That's- a fucking amazing. Hell Aww. yes. Thanks, guys. And a a uh, a South by a debut of of this, possibly on a on a Ritual Misery production, would be just that that be basically it'd be a dream come true. I think this would be. A I I think for both of our brands that would that would elevate us to a second rate podcast. That is what? Oh my gosh! Then I have to get a real webcam. <laughs> <laughs> well, a second rate podcast, we might be able to buy and send a real webcam to some of our more prestigious guests. Oh, or if anyone, this is a tech group, if anyone has an, even just a decent webcam sitting around that you don't use because you have real technology, you can send it to this girl who is on her 2013 Mac. <laughs> I, I uh, can't. That something can be arranged. Yeah, I think. I think. Oh, we'll, I think we'll figure that out. I, 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 I I'm almost embarrassed that we end. haven't. Right. Yeah. 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 But I mean, last last Thanks time she was pointing out the obvious. La, last time you were on the show, you were on your phone. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. If that's necessarily our fault for. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The phone is always very awkward though because I have to hold it for two hours. Oh, so oh we, I thought I would just give you this terrible quality <laughs> video instead. <laughs> You've seen me drop that phone so many now, times. Now, I I will have to say that we're, we're we're going to solve this for you. We we have we have the means to fix it. Oh um, wow, that's magical. Meanwhile, uh, once once you have it, we'll have to uh, we'll have to have you on again in order to properly test it, and make sure that it's oh. it's fun uh, it's it's adequately functional. I think that would be very very fun. So are we see, are I mean I know you guys have been teasing this. I don't want to jump ahead of the schedule, but are you thinking about doing a South by thing? Like should I try to make this song happen by then? We will discuss that in the post show exclusively oh. available to our live viewers and patrons at patreon.com slash ritual misery <laughs> or twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Meanwhile, Tay, where can people find you? They want more more Tay. The taters are out yes, there and they're and hungry. There's more Tay coming. There's Tay coming. Um, That's... <laughs> oops. Um... <laughs> <Quit> that. <laughs> <laughs> um at V Tay Allen T H E T A Y A L L Y N or Snapchat just Tay Allen Allen with the Y and if you just Google Tay Allen, honey, I'm all over the internet. You'll find what you need. You'll find it. <laughs> she never gets that uh that that Texas accent going, the little Texas draw until the very end of the show. Right, right. <laughs> do I do I always do that, honey? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much pretty much guaranteed. Um, Kent, I, I know I don't see a tweet in here that you like this week. Um, so I'm just, I've, I've, I've barely social media this same week. Same here, so. same here. All right, so we'll, we'll skip the tweets we liked. If you have tweets you like, how can uh, you? Wait, 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 wait. No. Um, <laughs> if the listeners. <laughs> have tweets they like, how can they forward those tweets to you so that you may end up liking them and sharing them next week on this very yeah, podcast? Yeah, uh, at reply me, rm underscore del noche. I'm del noche or del noche 77, pretty much anywhere else on the internet. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and I am Ethan Kane on Twitter, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E, or Ethan Kane 77 on Twit, or not Twit, uh, on Steam. There we go, Steam, yeah. Find me on Steam. 77! 
<laughs> I need I need more Steam friends because I'm looking for a lot of uh, looking for a lot of game recommendations and shit. So find me on Steam at uh, uh, yeah that uh, Ethan Kane seventy seven. Find me. Let's do this. You can find the show on Twitter at Ritual Misery, R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-R-Y. And you can find, uh, where's the thing at? Join the disco- Join us uh, in our Discord, discord. Uh, 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 bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Yeah, see, this is what happens when I try to read Kent's part. Like, you should just fucking jump in there and do your job, dude. Uh, you can find <laughs> all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on diamondclub.tv and twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Thank you so ritual much to misery. Kevin McLeod. <laughs> Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Thank you for listening for Kent, for me, for Tay, for you. This has been your Ritual Misery podcast. Love you guys. See ya. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y